Hey everyone, welcome to Alia Arabe. Uh, this is Alia and in today's video we are going to speak about more about Ramadan but uh, in specifically we're going to speak about the most important uh, night of the year. What is this night? When is it? Why it has this importance? And what we do during this night? All this we are going to discuss in the video. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. Okay, first of all, uh, what is the name of the night? The name is uh, Laylat Al-Qadr. Laylat Al-Qadr. And what does that mean? Layla is uh, night. And the plural, Layali. So Layla, Layali. Okay, so what I'm saying is Laylat Al-Qadr or the night of Al-Qadr. And what is the meaning of Al-Qadr? Al-Qadr has three different meanings. First, it comes from something that has a, a great importance or a high position uh, or a great relevance. Second meaning, uh, something that is tight and we are going to speak about why it is tight now. And third meaning uh, comes from Qadr, which means destiny. Okay, how this all is related to uh, Laylat Al-Qadr. This is what we are going to know now. First of all, let's see why it is important. First, because the Quran was revealed during that night. How to say the Quran was revealed in Arabic? Unzila Al-Quran. Unzila Al-Quran. And what is the meaning of uh, unzila? Means to go down, comes from the verb nazala, but in the passive form. Unzila al-Quran. Okay, number two, the angels come down to earth during that night. And that's why the meaning of tight, because the earth comes tight, because uh, it becomes full of angels. And the angel in Arabic is malek, malek. And the plural, malaika, malaika. Number three, because it is considered better than 1,000 months, uh, which means approximately 83 years and some months. So what does that mean? It means that if you do anything good during this night, it will be written down or considered that uh, as if you were doing uh, this good thing for 83 years and it is repeated every year okay uh, how do I say uh, better than 1000 months in Arabic better than in Arabic khayrun min khayrun min 1000 alf alf and um, months in Arabic shahr shahr so khayrun min Alf shahr. Khairun min alf shahr. Okay. Also, number four, it is important because during that night, it is determined the destinies for the next year. So if anyone is interested to change their destiny or want a certain wish or something uh, to come true, uh, the opportunity to do this is to ask God during this night. Okay. So now we know how important it is. Now, when is it? This night comes, uh, it's one of the last 10 nights of Ramadan. Okay, so how do I say this in Arabic? Um, 10 in Arabic is Ashara. And nights, now you know, it's Layali. And uh, last in Arabic, Akhir. Akhir. So, في آخر عشر ليالي في رمضان في آخر عشر ليالي في رمضان and usually it's one of the odd ones one of the odd nights so 21, 23, 25, 27 or 29 okay uh, what else so what do we do during this night? Everything good that we can, right? So the first thing is that we ask for God's forgiveness because during this night, God forgive uh, anyone all the sins during their uh, life, okay? So how to say ask for God's forgiveness in Arabic? Um, to ask for talaba, 
يطلب طلبة past يطلب present and we ن نطلب okay نطلب العفو العفو is forgiveness نطلب العفو من الله from God okay what else do we do uh, we can do other things like for example pray uh, the taraweeh نصلي التراويح and what else نقرأ القرآن read the Quran uh, and also we do a lot of charity charity in Arabic is sadaqa sadaqa okay and lastly we ask God for anything that we wish for in for the next year uh, to ask God for something that you wish for this is called du'a du'a that's the noun and the verb da'a yad'u da'a past yad'u uh, present okay so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in your comments below and let me know also if you want to see more videos like this thank you very much and see you next time bye bye